These are retroreflective markers. They use a material similar to a running shoe. And so the light reflects from the cameras, reflects off these markers and then back to the camera. And by using a combination of 12 different cameras, we're able to triangulate its position uh, with a precision of about a tenth of a millimeter. So go ahead and do a little bit of a squat and then back up. And I'll put your arms up like this and rotate at the waist. My name is Jason Wilkin. I'm an associate professor at the University of Iowa in the Department of Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation Science, and I'm the director of the Human Performance and Clinical Outcomes Lab. We have a motion capture system that allows us to very precisely measure individuals' motion, um, and we're able to use that motion to better prescribe uh, both prosthetic and orthotic devices. So in total, we put 57 markers on our participants, and that allows us to track the 3D motion of all the different segments of his body. So for example, you have three markers on his upper arm, and that allows us to very precisely track his arm as it moves through space. We put a similar number of markers on the, the different uh, segments, the foot, the lower leg, the thigh, pelvis, trunk, and then the arms. That data then goes into our biomechanical model. What we're able to do with that model is essentially integrate the movement data with the force data to calculate how much energy is being stored by the devices and also how his limb is functioning as he walks. My name is Chuck Connolly. I contracted uh, sepsis in December of 2014. By April of 2015, uh, my toes were amputated on both feet, all 10 toes. So th after that, I learned to uh, walk with a walker initially, then a cane. But I was walking very slowly, my walking was very limited, uh, and there was pain. I met Jason almost two years ago, early April 2018. He showed me a number of uh, videos of individuals in similar circumstances as mine who before had a lot of difficulty walking, but then when they wore these devices, they could walk much better and even in some cases run or jump. So individuals like Chuck walking behind me wear these retroreflective markers on their body that allows us to get very precise information about how their body is moving as they walk. Some of the outcomes that we care about in terms of these specific devices are the amount of energy that's stored and returned, as well as more global clinical outcomes in terms of their quality of life and overall function. What these devices do are help me walk faster with less pain because of the offloading that takes place. So the balance came back pretty quickly. Then it was a matter of just beginning to work on the strength. Obviously I work, walked very, very slowly. So I worked at Brook Army Medical Center for approximately 12 years on behalf of injured service members. Our research was focused on translating some of the scientific advances in prosthetic and orthotic technology to help individuals get back to the activities that they love. So our goal is to take the findings that we had in the Department of Defense from about 2009 ongoing and bring those to a larger number of individuals. There's a lot of different applications for this technology. It includes not only individuals who have experienced trauma, but also neurologic um, disorders such as Charcot-Marie Tooth and other conditions could benefit from these devices. There you go, your first go at a treadmill. Like a walk in the park. Yeah, literally. <laughs> nice job.